what's up and welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here welcome my name is Katie so just made my morning coffee I'm almost done with it and I'm actually about to head out to go grab some breakfast there's this really yummy juice place that's kind of by my house that I've actually never tried before so I'm super excited to try that so today's video is gonna be kind of like a healthy vlog I know you guys love when I share like the little things that I do whether it's like my self-care or grocery hauls or like my workout stuff like that I know you guys love those types of videos so I thought I would do another one for you guys today like I talked about in my 2022 goals and everything it's been a really big priority of mine to like eat better to get on like a good sleep schedule to work out to move my body and to also take time to like relax and rest so that's going to be what we're doing in this vlog right now it's about 10 a.m it's pretty late in the day i typically get up earlier but i'm not gonna lie i slept in and i didn't wake up until like 9 a.m because i was so tired so i'm getting a little bit of a later start to the day but that's totally fine like i feel like if your body needs extra rest and you can sleep in then there's no reason like not to you know what i mean just like listen to your body and give it rest if you need rest. But I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we're gonna go get some smoothies. got our smoothie bowls I just got I think the original and then Megan got what is it this one the chocolate covered chocolate strawberry. covered strawberry it looks so yummy so we're gonna sit here and eat our bowls it's actually so cute in here this is the inheritance juicery Okay, just got back from Inheritance Juicery. I'm gonna do a quick little workout. I'm actually gonna be working out with Obey. This video is in a partnership with Obey, so thank you so much, Obey, for sponsoring. But you guys know I love Obey. I love being able to like switch up what I'm doing for my workouts and to move my body, and they just have so many different options on here. Today I'm doing a lower body strength workout with Dorian, and I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So like I've mentioned in past videos, Obey is a fitness platform with over 7,000 boutique classes from Pilates to yoga to strength training to bar to HIIT workouts. They truly have everything for everyone, no matter what your fitness level is. And I really love that because their instructors are the best of the best from New York City and they have all expertise in different areas and different personalities. So there's genuinely someone for absolutely everyone and you'll be able to find an instructor that you love, which I really like. So today I'm actually taking a lower body strength workout like I showed you guys and I'm not gonna lie, this workout was absolutely killing my legs. They were shaking throughout this whole workout. So I love being able to get in a really good workout from the comfort of my own home or wherever I might be. So if you guys do wanna check them out, I will have them linked down below in the description along with a discount code that actually gives you guys one month free. So highly recommend that you guys check that out. It's an absolutely amazing deal. And thank you so much to Obey for sponsoring this video. Okay, just got out of the shower and now I am getting ready for the day. I need to go to the grocery store because I'm out of a lot of stuff and I need to get some ingredients to make some, like we're doing a pizza night this weekend and I just need to get some stuff to make some meals. I wanna film a what I eat in a day video for you guys. I think I'm probably gonna go to Whole Foods. I don't know if I need to stop by anywhere else. I might just go to Whole Foods because I really need to get some more like almond milk and Sprouts doesn't have the almond milk that I like. So I think I'm probably gonna go there. I also wanna get some more of their green juices because they have the absolute best green juices. So, so I will take you guys along with me and show you guys my whole grocery haul and everything that I get. Okay, I just got to Whole Foods. I need to go ahead and make a grocery list really quickly of like everything that I'm wanting to get for this week. I'll show you guys the recipes that I'm gonna make. I have several of them and I'm actually gonna film what I eat in a day. So if you guys wanna see like how everything turns out, how I make everything and everything like that, definitely stay tuned. But I wanna make some tacos this week. So I'm gonna make that. And then I also wanna make this matcha smoothie bowl. I feel like that looks so good. I've really been into smoothie bowls lately. So I'm out of my stuff to make that. So I wanna get some stuff to make that. What else do I need to get? I need to get my almond milk. I need to get the, I really like milk, but they never have it at like the Target or the Sprouts that I go to. So since I'm at Whole Foods, I wanted to grab some of that. And then I'm also gonna get some stuff to make like a homemade vegan pizza. It's actually my birthday this weekend. So I'm having some friends over and we're doing like a fun little like wine night and making some homemade vegan pizza. So I need to grab some stuff for that. I need to find like a good vegan crust and get like the vegan cheese. So I'll get everything for that. And then I'm probably just gonna grab some like other essentials or fun stuff. I feel like Whole Foods always has so much like fun stuff and yummy vegan foods to try i might grab some cookies for this weekend i feel like that could be fun so we have like a little dessert i'm all like bundled up because it's actually about to start snowing which is so fun and we really haven't gotten a lot of snow here so i love on the days where it like actually does snow but it is super cold it's like 30 degrees outside so i'm all bundled up but let's go ahead and go inside <laughs>
Just got back from Whole Foods, so I thought I would do a quick little haul for you guys and show you guys everything that I got. Okay, I'll do my produce bag first. I grabbed some fresh cilantro for my tacos I'm gonna be making. I also was looking for basil, but I couldn't find any like little prepackaged things of basil. So they had a live basil plant. I thought that was so cute. And I use basil all the time, so I thought it'd be fun to just have like a little plant anyway. So I got a cute little basil plant. Hopefully I can actually keep it alive longer than two days. I'm like, I'm the worst at keeping plants alive. Is anyone else like that? I just can't. I always do like fake plants for that reason. And then I grabbed a bell pepper for the pizza. I grabbed some avocados for tacos and like guacamole. And then I also grabbed some of my favorite juices from Whole Foods. You guys have probably, if you watch my vlogs, like my healthy vlogs, you probably will have seen these before, but this is the tropical greens juice and it has coconut water, pineapples, apples, mango, and kale absolute favorite really love them i've got three of those so i can sip on those throughout the week okay and then my next bag i grabbed some spinach because i need to make this for my matcha bowl and then i always just add spinach into my smoothies and then i also grabbed a red onion for the pizza and then i also grabbed some berries i really like these because i feel like if i have to like wash and rinse the berries myself it's an adhd thing but like i feel like i'll just always forget to do it and i just never get around to it so having something that's already like pre-made is ready to go if i'm having like a really busy week is super helpful for me and it actually makes me eat my fruits and veggies because otherwise I'll totally forget about it. Okay, and then I also grabbed this little, what is this? It is vegan buffalo salad. It looks like it just has like some vegan chicken in there, some carrots. It looks like it has some kind of like greens, onions, and then like a yummy little buffalo sauce. So I've never tried any of their pre-made meals, but I was with my assistant and she said that they're so good. So I grabbed one to try. I'm very excited about that. I grabbed some wine for our wine and pizza night. I just got a Sauvignon Blanc. This is like my favorite wine ever. It's a really good white wine. And then I grabbed, and then I grabbed some milk. This is a really good almond milk. If you guys are looking for like a really healthy almond milk that doesn't have like a bunch of preservatives or anything like that, this is a really good one. And then I grabbed some tempeh and I got just some original tempeh to make my tacos with. And then we found this smoky bacon tempeh and I've never tried this before, but I thought that would be so good on our pizza. So very excited to try that. I love tempeh. It's such a good source of protein, especially if you're plant-based. And then I grabbed some vegan mozzarella for our pizza. And then I also grabbed some cassava flour tortillas for my tacos and then the last thing i got in this bag is some southwest taco simmer sauce and this one's actually so good it is vegan but i really really like this simmer sauce they also have one this one's made for beef so i'm gonna put it with my tempeh but they also have one that's really good with like chicken obviously i use vegan chicken but this stuff is really really good for tacos so that's everything in that bag and my last bag is where i have like all of my snacks <laughs> so lots of good things in here i grabbed some of these simple mills sweet thins and these are the chocolate brownie ones you guys these are so freaking good my mom actually put me on to these but these are really really yummy they have great ingredients they're vegan it's like a really good like clean ingredient list on here so i really really like these if i'm craving something like sweet maybe i don't want chocolate just like something to snack on these are so good i think they also have like a chocolate mint one too which is amazing so grab some of those okay and then i also got some is this pronounced hue i think it's who hue i think it's pronounced hue if anyone knows will you tell me down below how it's pronounced i feel like i always say it wrong um but i got some of their dark chocolate this is my favorite brand it's so good i really fell in love with them whenever they had their like seasonal chocolates out like they had like a pumpkin spice one like a gingerbread one like their chocolate is so good so if you guys have never tried please go grab some but i got the crunchy mint dark chocolate and then the vanilla crunch dark chocolate these are so good my absolute favorites so i grabbed some of those i always have a sweet tooth at night and then i got some tortilla chips with a squeeze of limes by the brand siete this is my go-to brand for getting chips they also have some i think it's like a nacho or like a fuego flavor and then they also have what is it? It's like a vegan ranch flavor, but it's a really good dupe for like Doritos, but like a vegan version. So really like this brand. So I grabbed some of those. I grabbed marinara for our pizza. And then I grabbed some more almond butter because I use this a lot in my smoothies lately. I've really been liking putting almond butter in smoothies. And then the last thing I got are some Go Macro bars. And these ones are the coconut almond butter and chocolate chip ones. So that's my little grocery haul and everything that I got from Whole Foods. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this away, kind of like organize my fridge and all that stuff. I really love organizing my fridge like right after I get a bunch of groceries, so.
fridge is all nice and organized. Genuinely, this is my favorite thing in the entire world when I have like a nice organized fridge. So I always try whenever I go grocery shopping to like clean out anything that's old or to just get rid of clutter so that everything is nice and organized. I don't know why. I'm really not like a super clean or organized person, but like my fridge and my car are just the two things that like need to stay clean and organized. But I have my spinach, all of my juices, and then I put my pizza. I feel like I'll show you guys this. I found this big vegan pizza crust, which I'm gonna use for our pizza since it looks like nice and thick. I love a good thick crust pizza, so I found that. So I just put that down there. I have my coffee, my creamer, my almond milk. I have some veggies. I have like my pico, avos, limes, everything like that, apples, and then all of my like vegan dairy stuff down here and my tempeh. But everything is nice and organized. It's really just like the little things in life, you guys. Like these are the little things that just make your mood so much better. And then I put my wines over here. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I really wanna try some of this. I haven't had this brand before, but I typically always get Sauvignon Blanc, but I might have a glass and like take a nice like bubble bath or something tonight just to have like a nice little relaxing night. I also got this one in from the brand Aveline, I think, and it's actually really good. I think it's like an online subscription thing. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure, but they sent over a bottle of wine and this stuff is so good. I'm typically not like a big red person, but that one's actually really good. But definitely check them out if you guys are looking for some good wines. But fridge organization is done. I think right now I'm actually gonna go ahead and take my dogs for a quick walk. The sun's about to set and it's really pretty and it looks like it's supposed to be snowing quite a bit. It was. It said it was supposed to snow earlier today, but then it never actually did. But it says that there's like 100% chance for like the next four hours. So I figured I should probably go ahead and take them for a quick little walk get their energy out we'll go on a nice little sunset dog walk also yes i definitely do still have all of my christmas decorations up you guys it's just so like cozy and magical i don't want to take it down i'll probably end up taking it down eventually like Probably by the end of January, I'll have it taken down, but I figured that I would just enjoy it for January. So don't come for me for my Christmas decorations. Do you guys want to go on a walk? Oh, you do? Oh my goodness. Harperoni, do you want to go on a walk? You do? Do you want to go on a walk? Yeah? Oh my goodness, look at this pretty girl. So you getting big. That was extremely <laughs> Okay, let's go for a walk. Okay guys, just finished walking the dogs and I made a quick dinner. I just made some leftovers, so nothing super exciting. Threw in my robe and I think I'm gonna have a nice little like relaxing bath night. I love a good bath whenever it's like super cold outside and it's really cold and chilly and snowing. So I just feel like the perfect night to kind of have some R&R. &R. It's only 7 p.m. right now, but I do kind of want to start like winding down my evening because it's been a long week and I feel like I've just been getting like so tired really early lately. So I definitely wanna make sure that I get in bed at nice and early tonight. So I'm gonna go pour myself a nice glass of wine, take a nice bath, enjoy my evening, have a little R&R. &R. I feel like when it comes to like healthy habits and stuff like that, I talk so much about like eating well and working out and everything like that. But I think such a big part of having like a healthy body and healthy mind is like relaxing and self-care and like social media detoxing and all of that. And I don't know about you guys, but I've definitely been feeling just super burnt out lately. Probably honestly for like the last three months, I've just been like ready for a break. And I really have never, I feel like since I started doing YouTube full time, actually taken like a full like vacation vacation time off like I'll go on trips but then I always like vlog it or I'm like you know doing something where I'm still working still doing emails or still like posting content so I was talking about it with my assistant today and I'm actually really excited because I'm going to be taking a full two weeks off and it's overdue for sure but I'm very excited for this time off so I wanted to obviously tell you guys I think this video is going to go up I believe on January 30th and I'm going to be taking off the second and the third week of February so I just wanted to tell you guys I think the videos that will be going up the first week of February aren't going to be like a vlog style so I probably won't have like a chance to tell you. I'll definitely mention it on my Instagram, but in case you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, I kind of just wanted to give you guys a heads up so you guys weren't like wondering. Because anytime I only post like one video a week, I always get lots of like messages or comments asking like where I am, if anything's like wrong, if everything's okay. So everything's great. I'm just taking off a nice two weeks. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up that the second and third week of February, I will not be posting any content. I won't be on my social media at all. I'm really just gonna take that time to relax and like do whatever, literally whatever I want. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. 
do. Me and my assistant were kind of talking. My assistant's also my best friend in case you guys didn't know. Um, but we were just like talking about all the fun things that we wanted to do for our kind of like our two week vacation. So I'm very excited for that. But I did with that just want to encourage you guys to take time off if you need it. And if you can take breaks from social media and just make sure that you guys are giving yourself lots of R&R &R because it is so, so important for your overall health, your overall mental well-being and everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and go start my bath and then enjoy my night. Thank mm -hmm. you. 